What's up everyone? Grizzly831 back again. Here to bring another video and today I'm gonna be doing my top 7 fragrances for Tough Man. So this is gonna be a tag video and the idea came from Andres Perfume Man which if you don't know him he's a Spanish reviewer he does reviews in Spanish and he, he created this tag which is top 10 fragrances for Tough Man and he invited everyone who has a fragrance channel to do it but right now they're doing it mostly in Spanish so I wanted to bring it to the English language so we can also start doing it in English and uh, but he said top 10 but since I only have seven I'm only gonna do seven so here are my top seven tough men fragrances uh, kids don't try this at home <laughs> uh, so starting off with my number seven spot which is gonna be Old Spice the classic aftershave um, fragrance it's been around since 1938 and pretty much if you have ever uh, shaved your beard you're, you are most likely to have used this one in the past um, and I like their new slogan they have which is if your grandfather hadn't used this, you wouldn't exist. <laughs> I think that's a very nice slogan, and it's so it's gonna make it into my number seven spot. All spice for my number six spot. I have this one right here, which is Karen KL Black by Karen Low, and this is a barbershop type of scent. And I definitely smell some brood in here. It is bee smooth, and I smell the brood, but it also has some of this smell right here. Which, if you ever use this um, shaving cream, H, the green one, this fragrance has some of that smell in it. So that's gonna be my number um, six spot. For, for the rest, the next five that I have, I'm gonna give you a sample of who might wear them. The tough guy who might wear them, you know. So, my number fifth spot, it's gonna be this one. Which is Cuba Red. And this one right here, to me, it straight up smells like a pack of cigarettes. And um, it's woody, tobacco, and sweet. And I know how cigarette smells because I had a friend in Mexico who his mom had a store and he, he used to steal that pack of cigarettes and we used to smoke them. <laughs> so that's how a pack of cigarettes smells. And the type of tough man who would wear this one, it's gonna be Clint Eastwood, like from the old school movies, the Western movies, you know, where he has like a beard and he's always, um, has a cigar in his mouth, uh, the fastest gun in the West, you know. That's the type of tough guy who will wear this one. Uh, it only lasts about four hours, is the bad thing. But it's gonna be my fifth spot for my um, for my number four spot. I have this one right here, which is Bentley for men in ten. So this one right here, um, it's not for kids. <laughs> uh, it's very, um, at the beginning it could be overwhelming since it's heavy on the rum and it has some bay leaf which gives it like a men mentholated type of smell uh, with the leather. Uh, the dry down is much better, but the type of, of tough guy who will wear this one is gonna be Jason Statham from the movie Transporter. So that's the type of person you know with a suit, but he is also a tough guy at fighting and everything. Uh, the next for my third spot, it's gonna be Hafez 1984. Uh, this is one right here, it's heavy on the whiskey, heavy on the tobacco with some spices and some fruits and if you watch my review already you know what who's who's the tough guy who, who i'm gonna say right now 
uh, it is boss mode performance like I said and the tough guy who would wear this one it's gonna be Al Pacino from the movie Scarface this is definitely Scarface um, signature scent in my opinion uh, very uh, like boss like boss like fragrance uh, the next one which is gonna be this one right here second spot Anubis Kiss so, so this one right here is more dark uh, more different than the, your regular fragrances uh, it is smoky dark it has some incense tobacco some wood uh, but it also it has some cannabis in it and if you watch my review I said it's not like the real cannabis flower it's more more like hash which is made from the cannabis plant you know but it's hash instead of the um, cannabis flower and the type of person who will wear this one is the same type of person who might wear the next one number one spot which is gonna be this one Bentley for men absolute and this one right here it's a very woody fragrance dark also has some incense in it um, it could be polarizing I recently traded this one with my brother because uh, he didn't like it so I traded this one uh, I traded my Bentley infinite intense for this one and it is very dark very woody uh, so the type of person who will wear this one from wrestling these two from wrestling the Undertaker you know <laughs> that kind of tough guy like that uh, with a um, trench coat all black trench coat all the way to the feet uh, all dressed in black um, very tough like biker like uh, these two friends will be worn by that the Undertaker so those are my seven top seven fragrances for tough man so and I'm gonna tag three channels the first one I'm gonna tag is gonna be my man broke sense your tag uh, to do this um you could you can do up to 10 if you have the 10 top 10 if you guys have the top 10 um, fragrances uh, go ahead and do it I just did seven because I didn't have enough tough man fragrances so yeah, my first first tag is gonna be Broke Saints, and um, my second tag I'm gonna tag Ross from TLTG Reviews. Your tag, um, and also my the third channel I'm gonna tag is gonna be Rick from Rick from Talk Talk and Review. Um, I like to see your um, which are your tough man fragrances so uh, hopefully you guys do the tag and um if anyone else wants to do it then go right ahead and do it you know um so yeah top seven fragrances for life or <laughs> top seven fragrances for tough men kids don't try this at home thank you for watching and peace